For years, Mars has been our silent neighbor, a planet we've explored through lenses, sensors, and machines that whisper across the void. But this time, one of those machines, NASA's Perseverance rover, captured something it was never meant to see. In a faint, blurry frame taken from the Martian surface, scientists noticed a ghostly light hovering against the crimson sky. At first it looked like a star, but it wasn't. It was moving slowly, deliberately. It was 3i Atlas, the mysterious interstellar object that has defied every law of astrophysics since the day it was discovered. What was supposed to be a simple image turned into a revelation so disturbing that NASA scientists went silent. Because hidden within that image lies something that challenges everything we know about light, matter, and the boundaries between the natural and the artificial. The question isn't what the rover saw. It's why 3 Atlas appeared exactly there above Mars, as if it was meant to be seen. It began with a simple capture, a faint smudge next to a handful of dim stars. The Mascam Z camera aboard Perseverance recorded it almost by accident. One Martian day before 3, I Atlas reached its closest approach to the planet. At first, scientists dismissed it as glare or a cosmic ray strike. But then, the object's motion was confirmed across multiple frames. It wasn't static. It was gliding. It appeared right where astronomers predicted the interstellar visitor should be. This was no coincidence. What's even stranger is what happened around the rover after that moment. Swirling dust devils rose suddenly across the Martian plain. Pressure readings spiked, and a vast storm began forming on the horizon right as the object passed overhead. The timing was too perfect, and when Perseverance's sensors detected subtle electromagnetic disturbances, fluctuations that matched the object's coordinates in the Martian sky, even the skeptics went quiet. Because the last time a camera on Mars captured something unexplainable, it didn't move like this, and it didn't seem to respond to observation. When the first data came back from Perseverance and Mars orbiters, scientists noticed something no telescope on Earth had ever recorded. Sunlight behaved differently around 3i Atlas. Instead of scattering randomly, it twisted, polarized, and bent in ways that seemed to follow invisible patterns. Polarization is the fingerprint of light, the way its waves align when bouncing off dust or gas. But around this object, that alignment wasn't just strong. It was extreme, almost unnatural. The negative polarization measured from 3 Atlas was more intense than any comet or asteroid ever studied, reaching levels that should be impossible under normal conditions. It meant that the dust surrounding it was either made of materials unknown to science or structured in a way that suggests deliberate design. Some researchers even proposed that the light might not be reflecting at all, but emitting from within a silent beacon disguised as scattered sunlight. For the first time, the universe wasn't just shining light on an object. It seemed the object was shining back. While Perseverance's image showed only a faint blur, leaked data from Mars orbiters began to hint at something else. A shape, not spherical like a comet, not irregular like a rock, but elongated, structured, controlled. It resembled Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor that baffled scientists years ago. But this time the details were clearer. Threos Atlas wasn't tumbling chaotically. It was steady, balanced, purposeful. Even more mysterious was its tail, or rather its absence. For most of its journey, 3i Atlas had shown no visible tail at all, an anomaly that already defied the physics of sublimation. But as it neared Mars, a thin thread-like tail appeared, faint, narrow, and unlike anything ever seen. Then it disappeared again. The object's stability, the rhythm of its light, the disappearance of its tail, all of it hinted at mechanisms we don't understand. And yet, perhaps the most unsettling revelation came from its trajectory. Say it wasn't random. It followed the ecliptic plane of our planets, as if aligning itself deliberately with the solar system's geometry. That's when Avi Lowe and his team took notice. He divided the object's anomalies into two disturbing categories. Those that might be explained someday, and those that probably never will. Among the latter, were two coincidences that sent shock waves through the scientific community. First, the timing. Three, Iatlas arrived exactly when it would pass near Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, a synchronized pattern too precise for chance. And second, its direction. The object's entry point into the solar system was aligned within just nine degrees of the WOW signal, the famous radio burst detected in 1977 that many once thought came from extraterrestrial intelligence. 
Could Three Atlas be connected to that decades-old mystery? Or worse, could it be responding to it? Because when scientists calculated its mass, more than 33 billion tons, far beyond what interstellar space could produce naturally, they realized something chilling. There simply isn't enough material between the stars to form something this large, this dense, this perfectly balanced, which leaves us with one terrifying possibility. Maybe Three Eye Atlas wasn't born out there. Maybe it was sent. As scientists began to analyze the faint spectral readings captured by the Perseverance rover's instruments, they discovered that the dust surrounding Three Atlas was unlike anything ever recorded. It wasn't behaving like frozen carbon silicates or cosmic ice. It was reacting. Each particle seemed to interact with sunlight in an organized way, forming micro-patterns that shifted as the object approached Mars. Normally, dust is chaotic, billions of grains tumbling freely through vacuum. But this dust acted as though it was obeying instructions. Its reflective properties changed rhythmically, almost like a programmed sequence. Some researchers even noticed that the polarized light pulses occurred in regular intervals of time, mirroring the Martian daylight cycle. How could an interstellar object born light years away synchronize with Mars? The only explanation left on the table was that it wasn't synchronization at all. It was imitation as if Three Atlas was learning, observing, adjusting its own luminous signature to match the patterns of its environment. The idea that a comet could mimic planetary behavior was beyond science. It belonged to something far more deliberate. Just as scientists began to understand the strange optical behavior of Three Atlas, the sun intervened. A massive coronal mass ejection erupted from its surface, a storm of plasma and magnetic fury racing across millions of kilometers, and when it reached the region where Three Eye Atlas was traveling, everything changed. The object vanished from telescopic view, not disintegrated, not destroyed, simply gone. No reflections, no signals, no trace. Mars orbiters that had been monitoring its motion lost contact within seconds of the solar burst. At first, NASA blamed the solar interference, but when the plasma cleared days later, three Atlas didn't reappear. Then faintly, Perseverance's sensors began picking up unexplained electromagnetic echoes, subtle repeating pulses originating not from the sky but from the Martian soil itself. It was as if the object's presence had triggered something beneath the surface, something dormant. Data packets from the rover showed a spike in subsurface ionization, a kind of electrical whisper that seemed to follow the same rhythm as the light polarization pattern recorded days earlier. Somehow Three Atlas had left a signature behind, not in the sky, but embedded in the red dust of Mars. By the time Earth-based observatories regained visibility of Three Atlas weeks later, it was already accelerating toward the sun. But before it vanished behind solar glare, a final observation shook every assumption about what this object could be. When astronomers enhanced the light polarization data, they noticed repeating ratios embedded in the signal. Not random reflections, but mathematical sequences, prime numbers, Fibonacci intervals, the golden ratio appearing over and over in the structure of the light waves. It was as if the object wasn't reflecting sunlight, but modulating it, embedding coded information within the photons themselves. And when those patterns were plotted across a three-dimensional field, something even more chilling appeared. The geometric outline of the Martian orbital plane. It was broadcasting a map, not to itself, not to us, but to somewhere beyond. The implication was clear and horrifying. Three Atlas wasn't just passing through, it was transmitting. And Mars wasn't just a waypoint, it was a relay.